In this video, I will show you how to protect PDF files to a USB. Safeguard PDF Portable is a no installation, portable secure USB viewer and PDF document copy protection solution for USB sticks. It can be used as a completely offline DRM solution with no internet access required. And since secure documents are locked to USB sticks rather than to specific computers, they can be used anywhere. Please note Safeguard PDF Portable and USB Viewer are currently only available for the Windows operating system. The Auto Run app and FAT32. USB sticks must be formatted as FAT32 if you want to include the Auto Run application. That's the GUI to display the files available on the USB device. If the drive is formatted as NTFS, then no files will be displayed in the Auto Run application. Please note you cannot protect PDF files directly onto USB devices. You can only select existing PDC documents, which are PDF files that have been protected with Safeguard PDF Writer. You cannot change the controls already applied to these PDC documents at this time. So first make sure you have a suitable USB stick inserted and it has been formatted ready to use. Then open Windows Explorer, locate the documents you wish to protect to USB, highlight all the documents you wish to protect, and then right click on the selection and choose Protect to USB. The Protect to USB window opens and displays the files you just selected in the upper area and showing any available USB devices connected to the computer in the lower area. If you select a file by clicking on it, you will see its protected document properties in the right hand pane. If you decide not to include some of the files you have previously selected, then you can either remove them by highlighting them and then pressing the remove button, or with them highlighted, right clicking and choosing remove. Alternatively, you can just uncheck the box at this point and they will not be copied to the USB. If you need to add more files, just click the Add Files button, locate the file or files you wish to add, and then click Open. The file will be added to the existing list. OK. Under the Options menu, you have the option of Include a Document Viewer and to include the Auto Run interface. Including the document viewer. Checking the document viewer installs the secure viewer application software on the USB device, allowing users to view documents from the USB without having to install the secure viewer on their computer. Include the auto run interface. Including the auto run interface enables users to run a file called View Documents EXE which displays a dialog showing all the protected documents available on the USB drive. Once you are happy with the selection of files you wish to protect USB, select the USB device you wish to copy the files to, bearing in mind there may be more than one USB device on the system. Note the following information is also listed for USB device, the drive number allocated to it, the space on the device, the model of the device, the file system, the status, and the hardware ID. The hardware ID is used by the admin system to identify the USB. Finally, select the Publish Key Store button if you want to publish a pre-registered key store populated with decryption keys only, or the Publish All button to publish a pre-registered key store and the documents to the USB. You might want to publish a key store to a USB device without any documents. If you have protected documents to publications and you want users to be able to download the latest documents from your website, but have the keys available to view them from the USB device. Publish in blank key stores. Please note grayed out here is the publish blank key store button. This is available when you first load Safeguard PDF Portable provided that no documents are selected in the GUI. If you have documents loaded in the GUI, then you need to uncheck them for the Publish Blank Key Store button to become available. 
Publish in a blank key store creates a key store that is pre-registered and locked to both you as the publisher and the USB device itself. So, although there are no decryption keys currently in the key store, the USB device knows which publisher it belongs to and how to find their administration server in order to check for available access and decryption keys. Once you are happy with your selected files and your application settings, just press, in this case, the Publish All button. Progress window will appear, showing the transfer progress. It will also tell you at the end when it's safe to remove the USB drive. There we go, it now says all done. It's now safe to unplug or eject your device. In this case, we're just going to close the window at this point. We can now also close the protector USB window. A message will come up saying, do you want to save changes you've made to a project? If you plan to write the same documents on key stores to other USB devices in the future, then it may be convenient to save this as a project. If you don't intend to do that, just answer no. Using Windows Explorer, if we now scroll down, in this case here, click on USB drive, okay, we will now see the files that we just copied across, including the view documents exe. Okay, if I double click on the view documents exe, the secure viewer will load off of the USB and show a listing of all the other files we've just protected to the USB. All we have to do to open a file is purely double click on it. The viewer will open and there is the file. All DRM controls applied when the document was protected are enforced by the secure viewer for each document. So you cannot copy or change the text in any way. In this view, in this case, you can't print it. That goes for control P, other ways of printing as well. So it's completely secure and controlled by the viewer itself. To view the next document, all you have to do is click on the home tab and it goes back to the listings. Double click on the next document and it opens again. As we can see, this one has a confidential watermark included in with the document. OK, so that's all there is to it. Once you've finished viewing the documents, close the viewer and close Windows Explorer. For additional security, USB sticks can be password protected to prevent unauthorized use if lost or stolen, or locked to specific countries and or locked to an IP address or a range of IPs to prevent use, for example, outside of an office location.